Hey guys, it's Erica. I'm here to share with you my October daily prep. Um, as you can see, I have my basket full and ready to go with all my October daily items that I'm going to use. Um, but first, I wanted to just share my album with you. I have my big tripod set up. My husband bought this like gigantic tripod and I can't figure out how to adjust. Let me see, maybe it's this. There we go. I couldn't figure that out a second ago. Okay, there we go. Straighten you guys out. Well, hopefully this doesn't make anyone too, too sick here. Okay, so I'm gonna share with you the um, my October daily album and then I'm gonna share with you the items, okay? So I did use for my album the paper from this paper stack, which was last year's Halloween stack from Michaels. So as you can see, um, I still have a ton left, but I did use a lot of it. Um, so yeah, that's what I used for my pages in the album. And as I shared in a previous video, I'm using this album right here that I have already um, you know, decorated up as my October daily. And I made the pages. I just uh, cut the papers out and I stuck them together and put some reinforcers. I punched out the holes manually because these are really hard to figure out the way these are placed. So I have some full size pages. I have some um, clear, you know, like pocket pages. So I'm going to do a mix. Um, I have some, some bags. Here's another just like full size page front and back. I think it came out super cute and I probably will make some more pages and inserts. Um, this is just the start. This is what I have so far. This is a, I don't know if you can tell, it has two four by sixes. And then this is an envelope that I made using my envelope punch board right here. Sorry, I'm standing behind the camera. And then as you can see, I just used some Velcro. And that's the envelope. And this is a really cool page. I love how glittery these spiders are. And I did distress some of the reinforcers because they were just white. So I wanted some black ones as well. So you'll see that some are white and some are black. Here's the back of this page. And then just some smaller bags that I'm going to embellish. And then here's another clear pocket page. Here's a small envelope that I made with my punch board. So super cute. I love that paper. And here's another page. Another treat bag. Another clear. Here's another page. And then here's another bag. And then here's the last page. This has some spider, can you tell spider webs on it? So cute. And then the bats on the back. So those are, that's the prep that I've done so far. So as you guys can tell, I can't wait until uh, to start my October daily. I think my cover came out so cute, so glittery, so me. So that is that. And then... Let me bring my basket over. There's a ton of stuff in here, so you guys just bear with me, okay? So if you saw my previous video, I did pick up this eyelash trim in all these three colors. Um, so I don't know if I'll be using this in my album, but I will be using it to do some projects. So that's why I put it in here. And then my wood veneers that I picked up at Michael's tonight. And then, oh, what should I do next? Oh, there's a lot. I have a lot of ribbon in here, you guys. Didn't realize how much Halloween ribbon that I have. Um, but here's some of it right here. I really love this one. So there's some of the Halloween ribbon. And then here's some more. I like this has got like crushed glitter on it. 
so cute. So that's all the ribbon. I may or may not use it. Um, here's some wood pieces that I just picked up recently. There's the little witch's feet. This big trick or treat. And I just got these recently, so I'm sure you guys already have recognized them. What else? What else? Okay. I'm trying to get the stuff here from the side. This is all from last year. I picked it up dirt cheap. These are like um, clothes pins, and they have like little wood pieces on them. They're so cute. I have some puffy stickers, random puffy stickers in here. Just random stickers. And I have sequins. So this is the sequins that I bought tonight. Sorry for the glare. This is from last year, and I love this mix because it's got stars, it's got spiders in there. Love it. And then I got this last year as well. Didn't even use it, so I must have gotten it at the end, like end of the season. So it's got orange and purple booze. Sorry for the glare again. And then it's got what's in here? Purple and black embossed bats. And then gold and orange jack-o'-lantern. Sorry. So I got that. And then what do I have right here? Oh, I have another sequin mix. This has some white ghosties and some purple bats. So I've got that. I've got this cute stamp that I can't wait to stamp out and color up. I didn't even notice that little kitty in the background. That is so cute. All right, and then I've got these little googly eyes I may or may not use. I have this stamp right here. I don't think I've used this stamp yet. And then I have just this bag that I might put in my album. I have this stamp set, super cute. Oh, what else? You guys, there's a lot of stuff in here, my goodness. I love Halloween. So then I just have these cut aparts uh, from the paper pad that I use, so I might use those. Here's some black flat back pearls. Here's some ephemera that I pulled out. Then this is a sticker book from last year that um, I used a few things out of. So I may use this, may not. Here's the paper pad that I shared in my recent haul video. And then I also have this paper pad that I've had for a couple years and I've never used it. And I just thought, why not? Um, it's super, super cute. Um, so, like I said, I may or may not use it. I love this sheet. So, that is that. And then I've just got some bling here, rhinestone stickers. Got some black and orange baker's twine. And then white and black and orange and white baker's twine. I have these stickers. I'm going to try and use those up. Here's a, a die cut, random. Some more... Treat bags, empty treat bags that I may or may not use. So it just got variety. And again, this stuff, if I don't use it for my October daily, I'll probably use it for projects. I have some more ephemera right here. I just switched sides, guys. This is like holographic ephemera. Here's a little cute little card that I got that I want to use. Here's some more stickers. And you guys, I have so much more Halloween stuff. This is just stuff that I pulled out for my October daily. It's ridiculous. Here's some, some of these new die cuts that I purchased. And then here's some glittery die cuts. Some more little ghosty stickers. These cute bows that I picked up last year and never used. Here's some more stickers. I got Halloween stickers for days. There's some cute cat stickers and some doilies from either last year or the year before. Then I got the corrugated pumpkins and then the cardstock bats. 
I got these two packs of tags. They're in black. I may use. Here's another cut apart. And then I have these die cuts here from Kane Company. They're all glittery. You get a ton. I swear I've used these for like two or three years. I still have a ton left. So this is all that you get. And I have some of these enamel dots right here. And these chipboard stickers from the Pebbles line that was from last year. Got that. I've got this stencil set. There's two stencils. Have these. Um, they're stickers, but they're like labels from the After Dark collection from last year. I love that there's gold because I'm putting hints of gold in my album. I just have this gold confetti. Good for shaker pockets. And then, oh no, this is going to all fall over. I've got this washi paper. So it's like strips of washi. It's like a washi book from the Pebbles line from last year. Plus the sticker sheet from the Pebbles line last year. I think I might have used, nope, I haven't used any of these stickers yet. And then I have these alphas from Remarks in black. Just alpha stickers. Plus I have these black, white, and orange cardstock alpha stickers. And then if you think I had a ton of Halloween ribbon, I have even more Halloween washi. So here's some of my Halloween washi. Some of it, I haven't even opened this. Like, like really? I haven't even opened this one either. I am just a hoarder. So there's some of my washi. And here's the rest. Little jack o' lantern, so cute. Then I have these little um, buttons that you can use as embellishments. So I have these. And then I have this Tim Holtz stamp that I can't wait to use. That I just purchased about a week ago. And then this is my template for the holes for the album in case I need to make more pages. And I made some more envelopes, so I haven't glued them down or anything. I was just playing with my envelope punch board. So I may or may not use them. Then here's a stamp set. Uh, Serena B made this stamp set last year and I barely used it. So I want to use it a lot this year. And then more stickers, you guys. Oh, I've got a ton. So here, let me put them all in the same direction. Got all these stickers last year. So I'm set on Halloween stickers. I don't need to buy stickers for like 12 years. So I did pull these out, and although they're not like Halloween, but I wanted to get the gold in my album, and you know, they're just phrases, so you can totally use them. I mean, I don't know how much I'm going to use them, but you know, I just pulled them out. Then I have these alphabet stickers I pulled out to use, and then these here. Oops. Saw them in my previous video. Then I have these uh, Halloween thickers. And this is what I used on the cover of my October Daily. And then I just pulled out some thickers that um, coordinate with my album color. So I have like a goldish orangish color, two whites, and a black. And it looks as though, yep, these are the same font right here, and then two different glittery whites. So that is my October daily basket and prep. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope that you guys are going to participate in October daily as well. Um, I can't wait to see what everyone creates during the month of October and for Halloween. Um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Um, and if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. And I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks. Bye.